Hello everyone, Spooky Gamer here, and welcome to let's play a uh, Big City Dreaming Demo. A reason I would start hard game I saw on Kickstarter. It looked pretty cool. And being I don't play many visual novels, I decided to give it a try. So with that said, let's get into it. Alright, start. Oh man. How long was I asleep? This place needs a clean up. Uh, what's the point? It's just me here now anyway. I'm starving. I should eat something. Alright, check the fridge, leave the apartment, go to the bathroom. Um, let's save right quick. Alright, save right here. And let's go to the bathroom. Actually, I need to go to the toilet before I think about doing anything. I really should clean up one of these days. Oh man. Okay. Now I can definitely eat something. Alright, let's check fridge. I wonder if I got any food. Man. I should put new light bulbs in. Whatever. Hmm. What do we have here? Sweet nothing. Two cheese it is then. I know exactly what I'm getting too. Look at this slum. One of these days I might just get on out of here. Rain again, huh? Damn wear weapons. That's the girl from next door. I think her name is Ray. Yes her name. I'm always hearing her arguing with her boyfriend through the walls. He screams at her sometimes. He can get pretty nasty by the sounds of it. Loser guys with beautiful girls. What's with that? Yeah, it's crazy. She looked like, like something was barring her. I should get a move on. The night is still young. Alright, go to the roof. Go downstairs to the street. Before we do that, we're going to save again. I save right here. Alright, and then we're going to load the game. And let's leave the apartment. I should head out for some grub. I got nothing in the fridge. I know exactly what I'm getting too. Alright, skip. Alright. Let's go to roof. I might just go quickly check out the view, the view out. Always nice up here. Shit about the weather. Still beautiful though. It's crazy to think that I've survived this place for eight years now. Never thought I'd last longer than a few months. What a city. So many things I want to achieve here still. I feel like I'm close to doing something special. I just need to keep pushing. Work harder than I ever have before. If I stay out here much longer, I'll be soaked through. Burger time. I hate those stairs. 
I think I'm going to pass out if I don't get there soon. Hmm. This is still open. Maybe I should hire something on the way back. I can get takeaway instead of eating at Chuchi's. Then I can watch something while I eat. Yeah, that's an idea. All right, wait, let's go back. And we'll go, go down to the street. That chicken burger has my name on it. Different dialogue. Alright, do you want the Snizzle Burger combo or the Cheeseburger one? I've had a Snizzle five days running. Surely I'm sick of it by now. That sauce is so good though. What am I thinking? Of course I'm getting the Snizzle Burger. It's not Choo Cheese without that secret sauce. Who's that? Tifa Lockhart? Man, I've never seen that girl before. She's beautiful. What is she doing? She's just staying there. She looks kind of confused. I Maybe mean, I should ask her if she needs help or something. Um, excuse me? She has left. Idiot. She completely ignored you. Man. Am I a loser or what? Trying to talk to girls in the street sign like an idiot. I need a girlfriend. Let's go get our burger, loser. Choochies, baby. My princess Choochies. Oh yeah, I'm going to get that chicken snizzle burger combo with extra special sauce. Oh, I can't wait. If I hurry, I can still hire something from Vid before it closes too. Hello there. Welcome to Choo Cheese. Can I take your order? I've never seen her here before. She must have just started. Sir. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, can I have the chicken snizzle burger combo meal deal, please? Okay. And can I get the extra special sauce on the burger too, please? The burgers all come with their own sauce, sir. Oh, yeah. I just mean the special sauce on the chicken snizzle burger that I could get more of it. Like, extra sauce on the burger? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant like a really special sauce. I'm so sorry. No, it's, it's fine. It's the way I said it. It was confusing. I'm just a sucker for that sauce. You're right. It is delicious. I don't even care if it kills me. Let me guess. Chicken snizzle burger come with extra special sauce. How do you know? Shut up. Would you believe me if I told you I've had it for dinner every night this week? Uh, yeah. I've only watched you buy every single one. You're disgusting. You're the one selling it. How are you not obese? High metabolism? 
Oh, so that's why you're so skinny. It's not my fault God lets me enjoy unlimited burgers. <laughs> Look at my face. Anyway, thank you so much for the continued loyalty and support. You continue the show towards this beautiful, wonderful burger store. Have a wonderful day, evening, whatever. Bye. I can't help but chuckle at that last one. She's funny. Sorry about that. Cass is my biggest fan. She loves me, I think. Really? Maybe deep down? Subconsciously? She just hasn't accepted it yet. You're funny. Well, maybe. I should get your burger. I mean, that will be fifteen ninety five, please, sir. I mean, what's your name again? Uh oh, I'm Harry. Okay, Harry. That will be fifteen ninety five, please. Cash a card today, Harry. She's adorable. Car, please. Here you go. Tap whenever you're ready. Thank you. Won't be a minute. No worries. Man. She's super cute. Yep, she sure is. It must be her first day working here. I definitely remember her. My stomach is eating itself. I'm going to murder this burger when it gets here. I wonder if Noah's working tonight. I haven't seen him here for ages. Hmm. Check the back for Noah. Wait for your burger right here. All right, we're going to save again. We're going to save right here. All right. And we're going to check the back for Noah. I might just go check out the back. Where is he? Is he here? He wasn't here all last week. I know he had a fight the week before that. Dude's so secretive. I don't even know if he won or not. The guy's got no Instagram, no Facebook, no Twitter, no social media at all. I don't even think he had a smartphone until recently. He could have died in the octagon for all I know. No way! Here's the big dog himself. Harry, my man. Not special on you, dude. Oh. Well, sort of. You want, I assume? Yeah. That's great. Sort of. What do you mean? Uh. I'll tell you later. That doesn't sound hectic at all. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, it's good to see you. You too, man. How's the music going? You still making those beats? Yeah, man. It's all I've been doing outside of work and eating burgers. Mmm, burgers. <laughs> fool lost my kind, my fool lost my mind kind of stuff. Like you were saying, with losing yourself to the obsession of something, pushing past the point of it being fresh and exciting and pushing yourself to do it every day, even if it feels boring or repetitive. Yep. That's the only way to experience real success in anything. I never thought you could apply that to principle to career stuff. I just always had the, this retarded garbage in my head about time being some special thing that certain people have or not. But just from flying up Every day, to my laptop, and force myself to make songs, I'm seeing massive improvements, all the time. 
That's awesome, man. Yeah, it's no different to any skill. Making music, painting pictures, perfecting a guillotine choke. Yeah, that guillotine choke. It's very effective. If you're not willing to turn up on the days you don't feel like, it, then you'll never do anything beyond surface level. It's what separates losers from winners. I'm only reali realizing that now, man. Can't believe what a pansy I've, I've been all these years. Yeah, well, you've always had the talent. Now you're matching it with dedication. It's a good combo. I don't know about that. But thanks. I've heard your stuff, man. I listen to some of, of it when I'm warming up. Gets me in the zone. That's great, man. I'm glad you like it. Anyway, I gotta get back to it or they'll start narrowing at me. No worries, bro. Get back in there, you dog. Hey, hey, we'll catch up this Saturday if you're free. You know me, man. I'm always free. Peace, brother. My brother should be raised soon. All right, let's save again. All right, go back to the counter and wait for your burger or go to the toilet. Let's, let's go to the toilet first. I should get to, I should go to the toilet. I hate the feeling of needing to pee even just a little when I'm eating something. Always pristine. I swear I must come here just for the toys alone. Ah, that's better. Surely my burger would be ready by now. Candace, not you again. You love it. Definitely don't. Crazy girl. Okay. Surely mine's coming up. I'm ready to crush kill and destroy burgers chicken snizzle burger combo with extra special sauce that's definitely me thank you oh here you go Harry awesome thanks no problem enjoy your burger and have a lovely evening Oh, it smells really good. Hmm. Now that it's arrived, it's kind of tempting to just eat here. What should I do? All right, we're going to save again. All right, and then we're going to go back. We're going to load. And we're gonna go um, to the counter instead of going to the toilet. Mine should be ready soon. Hey there. Your burger isn't ready yet. Oh. No worries. I mean, no worries. Don't worry though. It will be soon. She's too much. Okay. Surely mine's coming up. I'm ready to crush, kill, and destroy burgers. Chicken snizzle burger combos with extra sauce. Extra sauce. 
That's definitely me. Thank you. Oh. Here you go, Harry. Awesome. Thanks. No problem. Enjoy your burger and have a lovely evening. Oh, it smells really good. Hmm. Now that it's arrived, it's kind of tempting to just eat here. What should I do? All right, so we saved already. We're going to uh, eat here. Actually, I don't think I can wait to eat this. I want it piping hot. And I want it now. I'll go to my spot. There's never anyone in this spot. Most chill part of the place. It smells so good. Look at that chicken sandwich. Delicious. I mean, it looks delicious. Oh, I've been waiting for you my whole life, baby. Oh, man. That was amazing. So full. I wonder what Jess is doing. Damn. I need to stop thinking about her. I definitely should stop thinking about her altogether. If I'm ever going to talk to her again, it has to be from her contacting me. I'm sick of being the one who always messages first. The only way to do that is to stop thinking about her. Gotta stay strong. Damn. Alright. Check a phone. Don't check phone. Let's save first. All right, and we're going to, uh, don't check phone. No, I don't need to worry about her anymore. That girl sucked up enough extra attention from me for four lifetimes worth. She ain't nothing but a time-wasting hoe. Bit harsh, but true. I should think of getting going. Alright, gotta save again. Alright. And we're going to, let's see, leave Choochies or stay here for a bit longer. Let's leave Choochies. It's definitely time to get going. Home. Come on. Get your lazy butt off, up off this chair. I really like the art style. It's pretty... Pretty gorgeous. It's not too far from here from my, from my apartment. Maybe that's why I eat here nearly every night. I wonder how many burgers you can have consecutively before you get serious health problems. Someone should study me. So full. Nearly there. Huh? What's that? Repent. Change your mind about God. You have chosen to reject his free gift. Jesus Christ died for you. So all you have to do is believe in him and you will be saved. Oh dear. A Thursday night special. Time is running out for your soul. Tomorrow is not promised. Any of us could die this instant. The question is, are you prepared to stand before God and give an account for your life? Will you stand before him spotless, blameless? Or will you stand before him condemned in your sin? And I thought I had problems. Alright, we're going to save again. Alright, talk to the preacher. 
Ignore him and keep walking. We're going to talk to the preacher. I've got a question for you. Sure. Do you think you're ready to meet your maker? Yes. I am ready to meet my savior through faith in Jesus Christ. Have the assurance of eternal life. Really? That's it? You believe that just because you have faith, you'll be saved? What about all the things you've done wrong in your life? Aren't you going to be held accountable for those? I am not saved by my works, but by my, by, by my faith in Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for, your, for my sins and rose again. And through faith in him, I have been forgiven and made righteous in God's sight. Huh? So you're saying that you can do whatever you want and as long as you have faith in Jesus, you're good to go? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. As followers of, of Christ, we strive to live lives that honor him and obey his commands. But our salvation does not depend on our own efforts or good deeds. It is a gift from God given freely through faith in Jesus Christ. This guy thinks he's got it all figured out. Well, I guess we'll ha all find out who's right about what one day, won't we? I truly hope you find out the truth isn't your arrival in hell. Whoa. Well, on that note, I've got a whole night of sinning planned that I simply must attend to. I'll pray for you. Cheers. I'll pray for you. I hate when people say that. Keep your prayers to yourself, champ. So many nerds around these days. Anyone would think the world is about to end. <laughs> Here we are. Fizz is shut. Oh well. It's not like torrents don't exist in my, my friend. Let's head up. Man, I hate these stairs. Okay. Ah, so glad I live in the nice part of the, of the building. Stray are really doing a really good job up here. Ah, home sweet home. Let's log in here. I've talked before, but that kind of does look like Tiffin Lockhart. A little bit. Okay. Hmm. Alright, watch some tube mush. Think while you eat. Alright, let's save again. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't save because, um. Wait, can I go to the next page? Save right there. Turn. Alright. And we're going to, um, let's see. Think while you eat. Developer, you come to the end of the demo for now. I suggest hiring the Forsaken if you want to watch something. End of demo. All right, so that's the end of the first route on route on the demo. Pretty good. Now let's head back in there and try to find the rest of the endings. All right, let's go. Let's do this right here. All right, we're going to ignore him and keep walking. I think I'll be moving right, right, right along now. Got bigger fish to fry than end of the world crazies. I, 
wonder how people that that walk around thinking they're sane. Here we are. Shame I miss shame, shame I miss vids. Oh well. If I go, I guess. Man, I hate these stairs. Is there gonna be anything new? Okay. Huh? Let go of me! I'm not even touching you. You're drunk! Get back inside. You're making a fool of yourself. No! Suit yourself. A-hole! Whoa. Can't say I haven't seen this before from them. is crying man poor girl is miserable with that dude that guy is such a dippy loser just lets his girlfriend storm off into the night anything could happen to her if I were friends with, with her I'd tell her she should just leave him but I know it's never that simple Quitting a toxic relationship like that is quitting heroin sometimes. Poor girl. Ah. Home sweet home. Let's log in here. Okay. Hmm. All right, we saved our race. Let's watch some some tube mush. Let's have a look on tube mush. Is it kind of like YouTube? Hmm. What should I search for? All right, search for some music. Search for some something funny. Search for some sports. All right, let's save right quick. All right, so let's save um, right here. All right, and we're gonna um, search for some sports in a demo. All right, go back, um, search for something funny in a demo. <laughs> okay, I guess search for some music. Cass keeps telling me to check out that rapper dude stuff. What's his name again? Slim Rangy? No. Slim Drano? <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's right. Slim Fury. He changed his name though, didn't he? He's called Son of God now. Can't reckon he's become a full crazy Christian or something. He's apparently lost heaps of his fan base because of it. Lost all his record, his record deals too, apparently. Ken says he's mainly listening to his old stuff now. Yeah, I'll quickly check out his, one of his tunes. Why not? Here he is. Hmm. In the beginning. We'll check out this one. In the beginning, 
that was nothing Then God came along, created something History doesn't see what I see coming Enemies circle me, doesn't mean nothing I've stopped running Like Neo, I seem to be okay with the code these days I'm under something that's gonna see you shutting your big mouth Cause you don't know nothing I tell you something for free You don't know me You got no idea how lonely this road's been How hard it's been to dream with nothing in between And knowing that there's no one there to hold me My dad's insane I tried in vain to block the pain I tried to run away I was a pussy I was scared I wasn't ready to become a man But it was then that the voice of God Told me to make a stand to become a man or not If you want to be the best then you better invest in a bulletproof vest If you want to be the best, want to pass a test, there's no rest You see in me God saw something He saw a man from a boy coming So into me God he put something I couldn't see what he saw coming To make a decision But I couldn't cause I was struggling With addiction That was then but now I'm different Now I'm on a mission I found God in the mud And I made my decision No more division Now I got the vision It went dark for a second That was in a mission Now I got the keys to ignition Now I'm taking off Now you're gonna have to listen I'ma make a prediction All these fools are pissing They you up against the wall, these fools are missing the point of life, cause I just want a nice wife, I want a girl who doesn't fuck with the nightlife, I want to be a man who opens up his nice side, but every time I do they stab me with the sharp side, I don't want to rule the world, I just want to be the best in the world, all this time in my basement, all this anger against Satan, all these songs I've been making, I'm a soldier, I thought I already told you The party, it's over ah. Stop spinning, now I'm winning, I'm grinning, I'm finally delivering on the promises he put in me. I was never good to me, I was sleeping with the enemy, I was never a friend of me. All my friends were enemies, sucking energy. I transgressed my eternal soul, I wanted to bury myself in the hole. Pop another pill, man, just let it go. Eat a handful of caps, put another bag up your nose. I was a boy, I was so scared I was Satan's toy, I was no man But I wanted to be the best at something And something in me just told me to keep swinging and punching So I kept at it, fuck being an addict This victory is gonna be emphatic My life turned from shit to dramatic From a pussy to spit in the automatic And now my soul is whole, there's nothing you can Stop me, I'm coming home
What the hell, man? That was crazy. It was like reading the Bible on acid. Mental fume clip. I wonder what he's getting that to. He's an awesome rapper. For a crazy person. Alright. Gotta save again. Right here. And let's do something else. Or look at more of his music. Let's do something else. I have to tell Candace I finally watched his stuff. End of demo. Alright, let's go back. And let's look up more of his music. I wonder what his other stuff is like. Let's have a look here. End of demo. Alright, so that's um Alright, so that's another ending. So let's load. Let's see. Let's go to this one right here. Alright. We're gonna check the phone. I mean, it has been days since I missed her. I wonder what she's doing. Left on red. Nice. How much time does he need? It's been over a week. I just want her to know that I truly, I, I, I want to truly be, be there for her. Not in some romantic crazy way either. In an actual family real love kind of way. But she never lets me do that. It's always this kind of bull crap. Man, look at this pathetic crap. X, 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 X. Why would I put that in there? You loser. All she has to do is throw you a bone when you're cold. And she knows you'll get hot again. Game played like that, like the need to lose you are. And now she's making you look like a common stalker. She does, she does this every time. She can tell when you're starting to move on. So she gives you a little tappy tap and you're right back to the beginning again. She doesn't love you. She loves to supply, supply your attention gives her. Cut her off you retard. And never mess her ever again. Ever. Damn. All right. Did we say before? All right, we're gonna message Jess. I mean, it doesn't have to be that cutthroat. We have history. We worked together for six months. There was a real connection there. And I do think she truly loves me deep down. She's just too broken to accept that someone could love the real her. That's why she pushed me away. That's why she plays all these crazy games. I just want to talk to her. There it is. Sent. You idiot. There goes all your mystery, you loser. Okay, what did you say? It says you never take into account my side is always your feelings over mine I'm sorry you feel that way but it was never my intent to make you feel pressured I just wanted to see you plain and simple I need some time okay take as much time as you want just know that I love you and I miss you I'll be here if you need me okay X X X X X and he said hey how are you going you have a big discarded figurine in a toy box waiting for her to pick you up from the pile how very alpha male of you, loser. Anyway, that's done. Can't understand it now.
I should think of getting going. All right, so I think we um leave two seats before, so let's stay a bit longer. I think it's safer. All right, let's um stay a bit longer. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered getting up just yet. I'm still digesting burger. Plus, vids would be shut by now anyway. Maybe I'll play some Pub C when I get back. I feel like shooting some nerds online. I'll play after I do some work. It can be my reward for making beats. Man. Wish I didn't have to work tomorrow. I just drink coffee and make some music all day. Hmm. Maybe I should call in sick. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Can this again? Hey there, loser. Oh, no. Stop acting like you're not happy to see me. You got way, a way too inflated opinion of, of yourself. Maybe. What are you still doing here? Just need some time to digest it all. I just need your many failures. So I can turn them into wins, I guess. Can you walk me home? Alright, uh, go with Ken's. Like little climb, huh? Alright, you know what? We're going to... We're going to... Save, right here. All right, and we're going to uh, politely decline her. Yeah. Sorry, sweet cheeks, but I'm in a very antisocial school shooter type of mood, and I can't be socializing with no thoughts. Really? You're going to play it like that, are you? I'm sorry, baby, but this is the best thing for both of us. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> Look on my face. I'm just not ready for a relationship right now. It's my fear of abandonment. My father never truly loved me, and that trauma left me a subcon left a subconscious wound. <laughs> Is he gone? <laughs> that got rid of her. I like cans, but I'm not. I'm just not in the mood to talk much tonight. Plus, you walk them home once and set a, a, a precedent. Then you have to do it every time they ask you. I should get going. There's beats to be made and nerves to be shot. It's definitely time to go to go home. Come on, get your lazy butt up off this chair. I wonder why Candace asked me to walk her home. She's probably having problems with Mike again. Can't stand that guy. It's like he's got everyone under his spell. Absolute loser. May I should, may I should, add, wait. May I should text her later. I actually feel kind of bad now. If she's going through something, poor girl. Nearly there. Huh? What's that? You are headed towards destruction. Your brief time on this earth will eventually come to an abrupt end. And when it does, you have to face God in all his perfect glory. And you will realize in that moment that you were wrong. You, re you will realize that all you had to do was accept his free gift of salvation. But instead, you chose to reject it. Wow. This guy would be fun to hang out with. You chose frivolous sensation and materialist experiences over eternal salvation. You chose hell over heaven. Where's this guy hiding his crack pipe? 
All right, talk to the preacher. Head on home. All right, let's save again. All right, we're going to talk to the preacher. I have a question for you. Of course, ask away. This idea of eternal life in heaven has always seemed a bit hectic to me. How so? It just sounds a bit horrific, that's all. A life of pure joy, worshiping the Lord and living in his light forever. Horrific. If you're telling me that heaven will be singing hymns and worshiping some dude on a throne for all eternity, yeah, sounds pretty horrific to me. That hot place sounds a lot more relaxed. Now that is truly a horrific mindset. Here is a place of unimaginable torment and agony. You won't enjoy a single moment there. That's your opinion. No, it's actually God. Maybe, maybe not. I pray that one day you'll see the error of your ways and come to know the love of the Lord. And I pray that one day you'll realize that not everyone wants what you're selling. If you change your mind, come along to our church on King Street on Sundays. Anyone is welcome. Yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. Thanks. Man, why if I talk to that guy? Remember to never do that again. I'm so ready for some vegetating. Nearly there. Here we are. I'm actually pretty tired. And Viz is long closed. All right, up we go. All right, so I don't think there's anything new at um at this part. So let's um just load. Yes. And let's head on home. I'm all good for this nonsense. Uh, bye bye for now. Ready to relax. Here we are. This is cooked for the night. Okay. Time to head up. Alright, so that's that route down. So let's go. Let's go right here. Alright, let's go. Stay a bit longer. Alright. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go with Candace. Hmm, as painful as it, is, might, it might be to be in your company for more than five minutes, I guess I have no choice. I'm glad you've seen the light. Okay, I guess I should get up. Oh, that's cute. Look at Candace's um, sprite or whatever it's called, model. You're lucky you live so close to me. Otherwise, I definitely wouldn't walk you home. Oh, yeah? Absolutely. Well, unfortunately for you, by dint of circumstance, you're forced to interact with me. You said it. So, how are things with Jess? Hmm. Not really a thing at all anymore. Really? Yeah, I'd say so. I'm sorry to hear that. No, it's fine. I think no matter what I tell myself about it, we're just not a good match. Oh. Some people are just not meant to be together, no matter how, hard, how good the chem chemistry is. Anyway, it is what it is. Hmm. What is it? Nothing. You're a terrible liar. Well, 
I never liked the way she treated you. I think it was really cold. What she did to you. I think she just got a lot of problems. And I don't think I'm the person to fix them anymore either. Wow. That's good. If that's truly the case, then I'm genuinely happy for you. What's gotten into her? She's never this nice. Thanks. So... Wait, so... How's Mike? Uh... Yeah. Good. Huh? Something's up with her. He's still on that tour? Yeah. He gets back next week. Great. You must be excited to see him. Yeah. Hey. If you need to talk about anything, I'm happy to listen. Seriously. You can tell me. It's, um... What? Well, it's just... Uh... I, I don't know. Me and Mike, we... Huh? What's that? These are the last days! The dispensation of grace is coming to a close. Just as in the days of Noah, so also shall be the coming of the son of man be. Oh no. How sad. Imagine choosing to publicly embarrass yourself like this on a Thursday night. This life is not what you think it is. We live in a world of lights and destruction. Destruction. The devil has you blind to the truth. And what truth is that? That this life is not your own. That you were created by an all-powerful creator. And that his name is Jesus Christ. That he chose to be born a man and live a perfect sinless life. So that he could be a perfect spotless sacrifice on the cross for you. So all you have to do is believe in him. And instead of con con condemnation for your many sins, you'll be forgiven. And you will avoid going to hell forever when you die. Wow. A real fire and brimstone kind of guy. Can can you believe this? Yeah, I thought these type of this type these type would be extinct by now. So annoying. People who want to force their beliefs down other people's throats. I know, right? All right, we're going to save right here. Talk to the preacher. Ignore him and keep walking. We're gonna to talk to him. All right, I have a question for you. Sure. Why do you feel a need to buy people like this? Like, can't you just be happy with what you believe and leave other people to their own thing? Okay. I have a question for you then. Sure. If I believe the ship is about to sink because I just saw an iceberg hit the hull, and I scurry to the light bulbs without telling anyone and only save myself, what does that make me? What's he getting at? A coward? Well, there's your answer then. When you've been completely transformed by Jesus and given eternal life, he doesn't let you just chill and smell the roses. As believers, we have to spread the good news. And we have to warn us about the terrible news as well. This guy's delusional. All right, another question we want to save. All right, so let's save right here. All right, keep talking to the maniac. Stop talking to this maniac. Keep talking. So you think we're all on a big sinking ship, do you? Of course. You don't? You think these last three and a half years have been normal, do you? You think the future looks good? Uh... Yeah. 
life always has its ups and downs, but I think if you have a resilient attitude, you'll make something positive out of even the worst of times eventually. That's cute. See where that resilient attitude of yours gets you when God is pouring out his wrath on you and this whole unbelieving world. Where's this dude been smoking? But how can you be so confident that what you believe is true? What if you're wrong? I'm not wrong though. Wow. Do you realize how arrogant you sound? Arrogance is what you have, my dear. What I have is fate. Me? How am I the one being arrogant when you're standing here telling people you know nothing about that they're going to burn in hell for all eternity when they die? I don't think telling people they are in a great danger has ever been defined as arrogance. And to answer your question, you are being arrogant by denying the God who created you. And that arrogance is what's keeping you from humbling yourself before your, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's what keeping you un unreconciled to a just and perfect holy God. And if you hold on to that arrogance long enough, you'll wind up in a terrible place of eternal suffering and punishment. The choice is yours. Let go of your arrogance and repent and believe in Jesus and have your sin forgiven. And receive a new heart, a new mind, become a new creation in Christ, born again to eternal life and forever sealed and protected against the day of judgment or keep on walking. God's not going to force you to believe in him. I take it back. This guy hasn't smoked anything, but he definitely needs to. Holy hell. All right, keep talking to this mental patient. Stop talking to this man, mental patient. All right, let's save. We're going to save right here. Alright, keep talking to him. Okay. You keep talking about Jesus. But what about all the awful atrocities that has been done in the name of Jesus throughout all of human, of human history? Oh. Which atrocities are you referring to? I don't know. What about all those priests who've molested children? All the churches just cover it up? And the churches cover it up? What about the crusades? The Spanish Inquisition? Torturing and killing people because they don't believe in your God? From where I stand, religion does more harm than good. Right. So you think that the same Satanists over there at the Vatican are real Christians, do you? Huh? You think those disgustingly rich key fiddlers in fancy robes and ridiculous clown costumes are born-again believers of Jesus Christ? I'm being serious. Do you think the Pope is a Christian? All right, got another one. Answer this question. I can't keep doing this. All right, so let's save again. All right, we're going to answer this question. I don't know. Of course he's a Christian. He's the biggest one of them all, isn't he? If that were the case, my friend, then there truly would be no hope for any of us. The Pope is not a Christian. What, what is he then? He's a Luciferian, a worshiper, a worshiper of Satan. He's a pedophile. That's why his priests are pedophiles too. That's why his church has com committed so many atrocities just like you see it. Because it was constructed by the devil to combat the unstoppable spread of the true Christianity during the Roman Empire. To pose as the very thing it was trying to stop. So it could twist, pervert, and distort the true message of Jesus. So the average person would think their filth and greed and hypocrisy were the fruits of a belief in Jesus. The Catholic Church's sole purpose is to harden people's hearts against the real Jesus. The real Church's sole purpose is to help win souls to the real Jesus Christ through the sharing of the gospel. That is the good news about Jesus taking the sins of every person who ever lived and whoever will live upon himself and denying on, on dying on the cross as a perfect sacrifice for those sins. He paid our sins and death himself and full on the cross so that whoever believes in him shall be forgiven and receive eternal life and will be with God forever in heaven instead of suffering in hell. 
Okay. This crap is too hectic for me. The question is, why you hate Jesus so much? Look, this has been a nice chat and all, but we got a family dinner to, to get to. Yeah. Sure. Just know this. I can see you have questions inside you that have no answers. If you come along to our church on King Street on Sundays, you'll have all of them answered. I guarantee it. What a loon. Let's get out of here. Man. What the hell? I know, right? I can't stand people like that. Me either. People like that are what's wrong with this world. 100%. He was even trying to convert you to his crazy cult at the end, there. Yeah. Poor guy's delusional. His personal life must be a shambles. Totally. Anyway, forget him. What were you talking about before that? Oh. That's right. You were telling me something about you and Mike. Oh. Yeah. It was actually nothing. You sure? Yeah. Here we are. Thanks for walking me home, loser. No problem. What are you going to do tonight? Same as usual, probably. Read old messages from Jess and cry yourself asleep. That's too relatable. I'm sorry. That was too far. Yeah, but it's probably not wrong. There's that look again. But seriously. Thanks for always putting up with my bull crap. Man. What's up with her? She's never this nice ever. Maybe she's been possessed by a benevolent demon. You're really a good guy. No worries. Anytime. And I am really sorry to hear about you and Jess. If you ever need to talk about it, I'm here. Seriously? This is not Candace. She must be possessed. Thanks. Have a good night. You too. Okay. Either she had a soul transplant or there's something really wrong. I'm actually worried about her. Definitely something to do with that Mike douchebag. Wanna be Debbie Bo David Bowie, Bowie loser. I don't know how she hasn't seen through his act by now. Maybe that's it. The veil might be finally lifting for her. Anyway. Time to head on up yourself, champ. Alright, so I don't think there's anything um, left on this route. So let's just um, load. So let's... um. Go back to the first one. Alright, we're going to annoy him and keep walking. Time to move right along, I think. Amen to that. If I ever become like that, you have my full permission to shoot me. Deal. Can I shoot you anyway? Please. Anything to avoid work tomorrow? Ah. Uh, I want to work tomorrow, Harry. I know. But you're a psychopath who loves money more than health. Why can't I be a lazy, irresponsible loser like you? 
It's a much happier existence. I'll give it that. I was actually thinking of calling in sick tomorrow. I actually hate you. You should try sometimes. Stop trying to corrupt me. I just want to emancipate from your self flagging -flag mind. It's good to be a complete lazy waste of, of a slob sometimes. Recharges you. I have nothing I want to, re to be recharged for. Benjamin Franklin's in my bank account is all I care about. You need Jesus. Shut up! Hey, what were you going to say about you and Mike before? Oh? Yeah. It was actually nothing. You sure? Yeah. Here we are. All right, so this part, this part, not probably gonna be anything new. So let's just um go late load um load another, another save. So let's um go this right here. All right, stop talking to this maniac. Well, thank you for the warning, the warning, but we must be off. We've got sins and that need to be sinned. Enjoy your mocking of the, enjoy your mocking. And the tribulation. Thanks. Wow. That guy went full super retard mode on us. I know, right? Trying to sell us from our sinking ship. I like our life raft. It might be sinking, but at least it's fun. I think he's been drinking the salt water. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, that's right. You were about to tell me tell me about you and Mike. Oh. Yeah. It was actually nothing. You sure? Yeah. Here we are. Thanks for walking me home, loser. All right, so let's um, a little another save, cause no, no, there's nothing new right on that, on that one. So let's go right here. All right, stop talking to this mental patient. All right, I think we made our, our choice. Keep on walking. A fine choice. Remember, you can choose to believe in Jesus whenever you decide. I think that's already been decided, but thanks. Man, what a self-righteous maniac. Totally. Standing there pointing the finger at everyone else. So judgmental. Yeah. Really ticked me off. Yep. Anyway, don't let it get to you. People like that just want you to be as, as unhappy, unhappy as, they, as they are. You're right. We've got more important things to worry about than the end of the world. Oh yeah? Like what? Like worrying about what you were going to tell me about you and Mike before? Oh, yeah, it was actually nothing. You sure? Yeah. Here we are. All right, so I can, I can load, load another save. I think they have one left. Okay, so let's, um, I think they have one load left on that route. All right, I can't keep doing this. To be honest, I don't know and I don't care. Yeah. You don't like it when you're, you've lost the, the, the intellectual upper hand, do you? I actually have no idea what you're talking about. You want to be the authority on something you know nothing about. And then when you're pr presented with an opportunity to learn about it for real, 
you're suddenly dis disinterested. I just don't care what you what you have to say about it. That's a shame for you then. Somehow, I don't think so. I pray that you find Jesus before it's too late for you. Okay. Well, you have a super swell evening. You too. Well, wow. Wow is an understatement. The Pope is a pedophile. That's something I never thought I'd hear a Christian say. What the hell? Even said they wear clown costumes. <laughs> You're please speechless. I can't even. Actually amazing. Man. What were you even going to talk about before? Um, what were you? What were we? Wait. What were we, we even talking about before all that? Oh, that's right. You were being all vague and mysterious about something with you and Mike. Oh. Yeah. It was actually nothing. You sure? Yeah. Here we are. Thanks for walking me home, loser. No problem. What are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tonight? Same as usual, probably. Read read all the messages from Jess and cry yourself asleep. That's too relatable. I'm sorry. That was too far. Yeah, but it's probably not wrong. There's a look again. But seriously, thanks for always putting up with my bull crap. Man, what's up with her? She's never this nice ever. Maybe she's been possessed by a benevolent demon. You're a really nice, a really good guy. No worries. Anytime. And I really, I'm really sorry to hear about you and Jess. If you ever need to talk about it, I'm here. Seriously? This is not Candace. She must be resist. Thanks. Have a good night. You too. Okay. If she's had a soul transplant or there's something really wrong, I'm actually worried about her. Definitely something to do with that Mike douchebag. Wanna be David, Bo David Bowie loser? I don't know how she hasn't seen through his act by now. Maybe that's it. The veil might be finally lifting for her. Anyway, time to hit up yourself, champ. Alright, let's load another save. We finished another route. Okay, so let's go. Alright, so let's go back to right here. Alright, now we're gonna wait for um for your burger to right right here. I think I'm good here. Noah's always around somewhere. He'll turn up at some point. This is that rapper do uh, that rapper do again. Kans has always got his stuff on loop. No money, no worries. Reliable. Good song. It's the exact type of crap I want to make my make myself. I know I can. Just gotta keep going. Actually, I can't get get complacent. Whatever we do tonight, we're making at least one beat before bed. Yeah. Good plan. Vegan burger with iron rings. That's definitely not me. Thank you, sir. Have a lovely evening. She seems so sweet. Hope she didn't think I was staring at her or something. 
She probably thinks I'm a pretty weird guy. I would if I met me. I gotta stop thinking that crap. Weird maybe. But I'm a catch. Women like confident men, not insecure soy boy pansies. So shut that negative self talk crap down. You're a creative, talented, hardworking guy. You're caring and emotionally intelligent. And you make the people around you happier. And you never give up when you set your mind to something. Plenty of good qualities the right woman will appreciate one day. Good. Mine's gotta be raised soon, surely. Chicken snitzel burger combo with extra special sauce. That's definitely me. Thank you. Oh, here you go, Harry. Awesome. Thanks. No problem. Enjoy your burger and have a lovely evening. Oh, it smells really good. Hmm. Now that it's arrived, it's kind of tempting to just eat here. What should I do? All right. We already saved before, so... No, you know, we're going to save again. We're going to save right here. And we're going to um, um, head home and eat there. All right, I really want to check out Viz before, I, before it closes. Plus, then I get to eat this while I watch something. Till next time, Choochies. Man, I'm so hungry. Lucky, I live so close. The question is, should I watch a movie or a TV series while I eat? Maybe I'll rewatch True Detective season one again, or some I shouldn't be alive. Hmm. Nearly there. Huh? What's that? We are all sinners. None of us are good. Compared to the perfect holy nature of God, our righteousness is our, as filthy rags. Whoa. God loves religious weirdos. And because of God is perfect and holy, he cannot have sin around him. That's why we must be reconciled to him before we die. Because we die in our sins, with those sins unforgiven, we cannot enter heaven and be in God's presence. And instead, we will go to hell, and eternal separation from our creator. Oh dear. This ain't it. Alright. We're going to save right here. No, we're going to save right here. Alright, talk to the preacher, ignore him and keep walking. We're going to talk to him. I have a question. Sure. So you believe in this God and th this Jesus, right? Yes, I do. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose again on the third day, offering eternal life to all who believe in him. <laughs> okay. So you believe that hell is a real place too, don't you? Yes, I do. The Bible teaches that hell is a real place of eternal punishment for those who reject God's love and forgiveness. Eternal punishment? That sounds pretty harsh, doesn't it? I mean, how can a loving God send people to hell for all eternity? God is just and righteous, and he cannot tolerate sin in his presence. But he is also loving and merciful, and he offers salvation to all who repent and put their faith in Jesus Christ. This guy is nuts. I don't know. It still sounds pretty cruel to me. What if someone is a good person, but just doesn't believe in God? Good works alone cannot save us. It is only through faith in Jesus Christ that we can be saved and receive eternal life. But God desires that all should come to repentance and be saved. Maybe if, maybe if he desires that, then he should stop being so judgmental. 
People might want to hang out with him more. God doesn't need anyone to hang out with him. He is the Alpha and the Omega. We are just lucky that he has a loving aspect to his, to his holiness. This guy has a gibberish comeback for everything. Yeah, well, I'm not really interested in any of that. I'll just enjoy my life now and take my chances with whatever comes after. Well, I'll pray that you will re reconsider and come to know the love of, and grace of the God through Jesus Christ. Thanks. But I don't need your prayers. If you ever change your mind, come along to our church on King Street on Sundays. All are welcome. Cool. Not. What a whack job. I don't need you to pray for me, bro. Why can't losers like that just be happy in their own tragic lives? Why do they have to go outside and try and spread their misery around to everyone else? Yuck. Man. I forgot how hungry I am. Here we are. Nearly home. And visit still open. Bonus points. All right, we're gonna check out vids. Head up to the apartment. All right, we're gonna save right quick. We're gonna save right here. And then we're gonna load again. We're gonna go back to the first one. And we're gonna ignore him and keep walking. Time to move right along. I got burgers to eat. Bye bye. Burger, chips, soft drink, movie, game, beats. Hmm. Burger. Ah, here we are. So close. And the old and trusty Viz is still open. All right. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna quickly check out vids. Let's go inside. I'll read something right real quick to watch with dinner. Ooh, blockbuster. Not really, yo. Hmm. What do I feel like watching? All the good stuff is out the back. It'd be good to find something I haven't seen before. But is that even possible? I wonder if there's any new anime. Alright. What do we have here? The Witch's Curse? The Witch's Curse? The Witch's Curse blurb. Amidst a world of ancient magic and mysterious forces, one young witch finds herself facing a life-threatening curse. Follow the journey of a powerful and gifted spellcaster whose magic has been twisted by a malevolent curse, causing destruction and chaos wherever, it go wherever she goes. Faced with the horrific and tragic consequences of her actions, she must embark on a perilous quest to a distant realm where the rarest of ingredients can be found to break the curse. But her path is fraught with danger as she confronts deadly enemies and uncovers the dark secrets of her own past. With time running out and the curse growing ever stronger, the fate of the entire world rests on her shoulders. Will she find the strength to overcome the curse and save our people? The answer lies in the witch's curse. Maybe. Sounds kind of garbage though. What else is there? Ah, what's this one? Goober time? Goober time? Goober time blurb. Listen up, peeps. Goober time is going to take you on a wild ride of craziness, goofiness, and wackadoodle slapstick. 
What the heck is this? It's all about Lucifer, this teenage dude with some learning difficulties, who decides he had enough of his home and is like, see you later, alligator. So he sets out to take over creation from God with his wacky, super crazy plans. But man, oh man, does he, does he fail miserably at every turn? This show is going to have you cracking up with all the insane situations you Lucifer gets himself into. But even though he gets sent straight to the lake of fire for all eternity, he still manages to keep you laughing with his ridiculous schemes. Good Time is the epic tale of chaos, comedy, and a dude who just can't seem to catch a break. What did I just read? This feels like some terrible translation error anime. Maybe I should give it a chance. Hmm. What else? Oh! This looks cool! The Forsaken? Whoa! The Forsaken? I've heard of this, I think. Kind of like, kind of like The Matrix. Yeah. People were saying it's amazing. The Forsaken Blur, in a world where the boundaries between heaven and earth are thin, a great darkness threatens to rip up through the veil. The Forsaken follows the story of a group of powerful beings who have been cast out of the heavens and into the moral realm. Their once bright wings now stained with blood and their hearts filled with a burning desire for vengeance. As they unleash their fury upon the world, wreaking havoc and destruction wherever they go, a small group of mortals band together to stop them. But as they fight to protect their world, they begin to uncover the true nature of the darkness that has fallen upon them. Will the forces of darkness triumph or will the light of hope shine through to the, in the end? The answer lies in the Forsaken. Looks pretty dark. Sounds cool though. Hmm. This place is going to close up soon. I should pick one. All right, we're going to save right quick. All right, and we're going to pick, um, we're going to pick Google time. Did look too good to refuse. Absolute nonsense, probably. Lucifer and his silly boy plans. I wonder if it's about the real, the actual Lucifer. All right, let's get off here. Gotta pay for this crap, huh? Um. Excuse me. Do you know where the anime section is? Yeah. I was just there. It's down that way on the left. Oh. Thank you. Okay, gotta save again. Alright. Talk to her. Leave her alone. We're going to um, leave her alone for now. No problem. Was that the favorite cute, nerdy, introverted anime girl of my dreams that just I just let walk by? Oh well. Time to pay for this crap. Harry, my man, the Big G, was well, surprised to see you here on a Thursday night. I know, right? And with a true cheese burger in tow and all, you are a true creature of habit. I guess I'm just a sucker for the routine. Oh yes, but the right routines. <laughs> Whoa. What? Are you sure about that? About what? 
about that, that elixir of chaos you're holding in your hand right there. Google time? My man, you know how dedicated I am to quality control in here? Nothing makes it into no, nothing makes it onto these shelves without making it through my cerebral cortex first. And injecting that right there, I think legitimately changed me. For real? One thousand percent. Looks pretty goofy though. Behind the goof lies something much darker. Something not meant for this world. Or realm. <laughs> It's like whoever made it was trying to tell us something. Tell us what? That's why I need you to find out, my man. I'll do my best, G-Train. Good. This realm needs your help. Seriously, though. Don't watch that crap high. It'll give you aneurysms. Brain bubbles. Now I'm hyped. That's my man. I should pay for this and let you close up. Till's already closed, my man. It's on the house tonight. Oh, really? I've got cash. My man. VIP customers get the VIP treatment. You're a legend, Gregor. Oh. That reminds me. I nearly forgot. Speaking of legends. Have I got something for you? That actually looks kind of cool. Majesty! One of the rarest shinies from the Legendary Legends series. Crap! Looks awesome! It's all yours, man. R really? Totally. You're too much, bro. It's fun, man. I've got someone on the inside. They give me boxes before market. I got lucky one on, on, on a couple of, of opens. And that beauty right there is worth a bunch. How much? Thousands. Dude! You're too generous. Just wait till they're worth, they're worth 10 times that. This collection isn't just a trading card mass produced crap either. It's some Willy Walker style golden ticket type stuff. You feel that smooth glossy finish on the, on the matte gloss? That's microfiber alloy and carbon print. You'd have to take a blowtorch to those bad boys to fray the edges. When I've got the time, I'll show you my collection. It's something else. That'd be awesome. You keep that baby's girl safe. I will. All right, man. Enjoy your burger and entertainment. Thanks, brother. Catch you around. Till next time, Realm Warrior. Man, could Greta be any more of a legend? What a madman. Alright, time to hit up. I'm actually kind of scared to watch this now after what Gregor said about it. It's hard to imagine it changing me forever. But if it does, what will I become? Who will, who, will, who will I become? Only one way to find out. Right, so I don't think there's anything new after this. Let's skip. Alright. Watch Scuba Time. Alright, let's see. Watch Scuba Time. Developer, you come to the end of the demo for now. I suggest hiring the Forsaken if you want to watch something. In the demo. Alright, let's load the game up again. Alright, so let's go back to this part. Alright, we're gonna um We're gonna get the Witch's Curse. I think the Witch's Curse is the go. She's the magic cutie girl witch. With magic cutie super with, with, with magic super cutie girl powers. What, what could go wrong? All right, let's get off here. Got pay for this crap, huh? Um, 
Um, excuse me. Do you know what the anime section is? Yeah. I was just there. It's down that way on the left. Oh. Thank you. Alright, so we already saved already from... Um, did we save already? Yeah, we already saved already. Okay, so um... We're gonna talk to her. You're a fan of anime? Huh? Yeah. Okay. What's your top two? Top two? So limiting. Yeah, you gotta leave out a lot. Hmm. Series of movies. Okay, number one movie and number one series. Wow. All of, of all time. That's even harder. I know, right? Hmm. Maybe. I have to say. Spectral Lullaby. For a movie. Not a bad choice. Very girly though. And series? I don't even have to think about it. Really? Tiger Fang X. No way. Are you serious? About what? Tiger Fang X? Uh, yeah. It's only the most intricate and satisfying long span story arc in any anime that ever been. No way. On top of that, the character development is so amazing. It's not just the one dimensional crap that they usually make. Exactly. They actually give room for them to grow and change. I know, right? The thing that always amazed me is how Imamoto had the foresight to plan out those arcs over like 20, 250 episodes. Yes. Like, how did he keep track of everything? Yeah, exactly. What's your favorite arc? Hmm. Wait. Let me guess. The Eternal Championship arc? Champion arc? <laughs> of course. That's not impressive, though. It's everyone's. Yeah, I know. The Unchaining is probably the most satisfying thing I've ever seen on screen. I've actually cried to it. Cried? Yeah. Multiple times, actually. Wow. That's cute. You a Tiger Fang X fan, too? Yep. Tragically so. Alright, ask for a number. Don't ask. Okay, we're going to say... Alright. Um, let's see. We're not going to ask for a number. Don't ask. Well, um, thank you for your help. Sure. No worries. See you. And there she goes. What could have been the potential love of your anime life? And now she's gone. You blew it, son. Harry, my man! The Big G! What a surprise to see you here on a Thursday night. I know, right? And we're a Chuchi's burger in tow and all. Wait, can I skip this? The guy ain't new? Okay, this is what he knew. This is new. Alright. <laughs> I see you've decided to acquire a viewing copy of one of the worst reviewed anime titles of all time. Oh? Really? Oh yeah. That's right, that right there in your hand is a cursed item of the lowest order. Oh no. Really that bad? Total excrement. At least worth a watch for the horror of its terribleness. Wow. I should have bare instincts. 
I feel relieved that you'll be sharing in my suffering. So the witch's curse is a, a, literal, a literal title? Completely. I believe the creators made this film with the sole intention of passing the curse on the curse to, of, of suffering and regret to the viewer. I'm actually kind of excited to see it now. I knew you would, my, I, I knew you would be my man. I should pay for this and let you close up. Till's already closed, my man. It's on the house tonight. Oh, really? I got cash. My man. VIP, VIP customers get the VIP treatment. Wait. Okay, so that's all old. All right, so this is all old right here. I'm actually kind of bummed I chose this now. I should have trusted my gut on how garbage it looked. Oh well. Sometimes a terrible series is just as fun as a good one. At least I can laugh at how bad it is. Alright. Skip. Alright. Watch the Richard Curse. Alright, developer. You come to the end of the demo for now. I suggest hiring the Forsaken if you want to watch something. In a demo. Alright, so let's head back in there and I guess get the Forsaken. Okay, I said um we can watch the Forsaken. So let's get the Forsaken. Alright, I've heard too many good things about this. Actually looks awesome. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Gotta pay for this crap. Huh? Um, excuse me. Do you know where the anime section is? Yeah. I was just there. It's down that way on the left. Oh. Thank you. Alright. Talk to her. Skip all this. And now we're gonna ask for a number. Right, let me save by crypto too. Cause this is gonna be the last route, so let's see, let's save right here. Alright. Ask for a number. So it really isn't every night you run into a girl who has an equally unhealthy fixation on otaku cartoons as you do yourself. It actually feels like a miracle. A miracle? 100%. I'd love to get your number. Really? Of course. Hmm. Not for any romantic purposes. I just had this feeling that we have so much more anime to talk about between us. <laughs> You're funny. Okay. Zero four, seven three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Zero four, zero four, seven three, seven three, nine one three, nine one three, two one nine, two one nine. Awesome. Thanks. No problem. Oh, I should probably ask your name. Oh yeah, it's Tracy. Nice to meet you, Tracy. What's your name? I'm Harry. Harry. Cute. Man, I can't believe that just happened. Well, um, thank you for the help, Harry. Sure. No worries. See you. Wow. Did I just successfully ask a super cute nerdy anime girl that I just met in a video store for her number? 
No way. This might be the best moment of my failure of life. Man. Harry, my man, the Big G, was surprised to see you here on Thursday night. Wait, skip, skip. Ah, oh, yes, but the right routines. <laughs> You've made a fine choice there, my friend. The Forsaken? Yeah. That right there is poetry and violence and motion. Really? Uh-huh. Not only that, it tugs at the veil behind your eyes. The true nature of the Psycho Spear exposed. Wow. Sounds hectic. Yeah, man. I almost feel like an expose into the Hollywood satanic elites and their pale sex ring cloaked under the guise of a metaphysical anime sci-fi. Get you a guard down thinking it's just some cool story about killing bad guys. And then BAM! Trojan Horse Truth Bomb. Anyway, I don't want to ruin it for you. Just enjoy, your, enjoy my man. Sound like a wheel. Nice. I should pay for this and let you close up. Till's already closed, my man. It's on the house tonight. All right, skip, 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 skip. She's super keen to see what this is like now. It's been hard to find anything good lately. It's like everything in the entertainment industry has been cannibalizing itself for the last 10 years. Remakes on top of remakes, or just derivative poorly written experiment that everyone just applies and says is amazing because there's nothing else. I'd rather just hate something because it's terrible than choose to love it because there's no other option. People who just love stuff for the sake of it like that make me sick. Anyway, hopefully this one is different. Alright, skip. Alright. Watch the Forsaken. Alright. Let's see what this bad boy is all about. We have watched humanity from the dawn of time, and we have come to know their deepest desire. Power. They yearn for it, stirred for it, and will not rest until it's theirs. Some seek wealth and influence while others covet control and domination. And then there are the real few who crave godhood, a transcendent existence beyond the confines of humanity. This desire is insatiable, an all-consuming hunger that drives humanity to commit the most heinous of acts. To, to betray and to kill for the lure of power is too great we too have tasted this temptation and we know the destruction it brings yet we cannot resist the call of power for it is all that remains after our fall
humanity and fallen angels share the same insatiable thirst for power and it is this desire that will ultimately lead to their downfall and to that day we will continue to wait and to watch for a chance to seize the power we so covet this is hectic not, not what I was expecting at all What's that about? The Forsaken. Whoa. Awesome. Episode one, Sinking Ships. This is crazy. Talk show host. It's a late show with Spoopy Gamer. I'm sorry, Jenny. I didn't mean to strike a nerve with your musician obsession. Oh my God, Johnny. I can't believe I just admitted that on national television. I can't believe you are still into those bad boy musicians, Jenny. I mean, they're nothing but trouble. Well, you know me, Johnny. I do love a man who can play an instrument. There's just something about a guy who can with a guitar that really gets me going. Did someone turn, turn the air conditioner off in here? Stop it. It's hot in here all of a sudden. Shut up! No, seriously though. Who, how, does, how does your man feel about this obsession of yours? Because he's a musician too, right? Well, yeah. I think it would worry him more if he wasn't a musician, you know? Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah. So he's fine now? But if he ever decides he wants to try his hand at acting or anything else like that, he's in trouble. Exactly. I'm only with him for his voice. Wow. You are the worst. I know. I know. He knows I love him. Sean, if you're watching right now, just know there's plenty of women out there or men for that matter who will love you for you Ah, that's so nice of you I know right what's this about but seriously okay we're seriously now serious now of course this is a very serious show Jenny definitely you just started in like your fourth movie this year. It's an amazing, it's an amazing run. Your range is incredible. Oh, thank you. I mean it. You're killing it. Thank you. Killing it. In this movie you're, you're in now, you've been nominated for a, a Novar. Wow. Me? This one humble, humble too. That's what I'm known for, Johnny. My humility. Oh? I thought it was something else. Shut up! Alright, this is kind of creepy. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm really not. But seriously. 
tell us a bit about this amazing film you're in. Well, Johnny, I can't say too much, but what I can tell you is that it's very spicy. That's a given, though. Of course. I mean, after all. Exactly. But, in all seriousness, it's the most amazing group of people I've ever worked with. Oh, yeah? Lawrence Evermore is in it. Yeah, and Vivian Stone. Harrison Blake. Isabel Swift. Emily Hayes. Sebastian Knight. Grace Monroe. Wow, Johnny. You've really done your homework. I have. You might be my, my biggest fan. Wait. So with all those cinema greats star starring alongside you, you think I you think the main reason I'm excited about this film is you? Of course. You got me. Ooh. You're like my creepy stalker talk show um host friend. So I'm friend zone now. I'm afraid so, Johnny. Oh no. On that's no television. I'm so sorry. On that note, I think it's time to go to commercial. We'll be right back with more with my best friend forever, Jenny, right here after the break. Man, this kind of freaked me out a bit. Uh oh, cult leader. This is not good. Pitiful, lowly maggots. As weak and foolish as the day you first crawled into our midst. You stand before us. Your feeble minds. And weak wills. Scrounging for the scraps of power and pleasure that we have so offer you. In exchange for your sacrifices you are not worthy of the gift that we bestow upon you playthings you are to be used as we see fit with our control over you we control the very fabric of reality over the lives of the vulgar and profane masses of which you were once a part of wait Okay, never forget that this is your lineage. Your bloodlines are common. Your use, temporary. The only means by which you have any semblance of power is from our allowance. And sacrifice is essential. And all of you will offer the appropriate sacrifices at the appropriate and appointed times. And there will be sacrifice. Either your loved ones or yourselves. Sacrifice is the only way. What am I watching? This is beyond hectic. We have poisoned their minds with profane music with carnal sound, with elections and debates, and with empty, hollow entertainment. All of you, remember that you are part of something far greater than you could ever imagine. He who sees all is about to descend, and those who are loyal even those of you with common, filthy blood would have a chance to be a part of this everlasting kingdom. The weak will be trodden up underfoot and disposed of like refuse. Our plans are nearly come to fruition. Our time draws near. We have laid the trap. The unwashed have injected themselves on, with our poisons, injected each other, 
while our blood has remained pure. You have all done your part. We have given you our lives. And you have delivered them. On the shows we allow you to appear on. In the music we allow you to make. In your pitiful movies we allow you to star in. In your scientific studies we write for you. On the poems we permit you to speak from. You have subdued their senses. And you will continue to subdue them. Or we will crush you. Whoa. Seriously? What's this about? Now. Let us begin. Our Lord demands fresh sacrifice. And we will partake together in this offering to him. Bring in the sacrifice. 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 Behold. We bring before you an unclean aspirant of filth with dreams of fame and fortune, believing in glittering promises of stardom, hoping for worship and adoration, nothing more than a prostitute, just like you all. This is so disturbing. Now, let us offer this worthless soul to our loyal, our Lord. In honor and glory of him, we will bring upon men of her worthless life. What the hell, man? Please! Help me! See how she cries. Still ignorant of her true place in the world. Just like the rest of them. Livestock. Unaware of their inevitable slaughter. Whoa! Place her on the altar! No! Please! Ah! Oh, mighty and powerful Lord! We bring you this wretch. Someone! As offering to you. Please! Grant us your power, O oh Lord. Feast on the terror of this lowling. Drink her blood up. As it pleases you, O oh Lord. Please! Bring the, summit, bring the ceremonial dagger. Lord, look favorably upon us. Ah! Please! I want to go home. Behold the quivering sow we have brought before you, O oh Lord. Forgive us for such a lowly offering. Please! May her misery and pain serve as a recompense. May the spilling of her blood please you. But please! What the hell is this? As above, so below. Uh, no way! This crap is evil! Come, partake in the blood. Give glory to our Lord, the one who freed us from the garden. Come drink to him. Dude, Gregor wasn't lying when he talked this up. This is nuts. Somebody's room. Oh, I got a text message. Huh? Who's that? Huh? Candace? All right, she wrote, yeah, Mike wants to know the address. He's been there before, but he forgot. <laughs> All good. <laughs> 
It's lot 29 Harrington Road. It's a big metro building, but you have to park across the street. Otherwise, the dog will find you. <laughs> okay, thanks. I know Sean and Joe Jordy are going to drive too. They said they had spirits. If you, if you guys want to go with them as well. She said, what you doing? What you doing? Why would she send me that? She just saw me at, at Chuchi's. She knows exactly what I'm doing. I do the same thing every night. That's why she always gives me crap about it. Plus, she's always got her head up her own butt with Mike's drama. She never texts unless it's to organize something with a bunch of us. Hmm. Somebody must be up with her. All right, we're going to save. Right here. All right. Miss you later. All right, end the demo. All right, so let's go back. And miss her back. Okay. What do you think I'm doing? She read that quick. I wonder what, what's up with her. Man. I nearly forgot how hectic this show is. That sacrifice scene was nuts. So basically it's some talk show host dude who's part of some crazy satanic type cult. And it's something to do with some weird fallen angel monster thing somewhere. It's actually awesome so far. Oh, text message. There she is. Nothing important. <laughs> she got you. Laugh out loud. <laughs> She's not wrong. Alright, I'm gonna save again. Alright, measure her later. In a demo. Alright, go back. Measure her back. Alright, if you call uncovering the secrets of the satanic elite unimportant, then you are 100% correct. We are. Why are you messing me, though? Can I come over? Huh? Come over? What the hell? Something must be really up. I wonder what it is. All right, decliner, in a demo. <laughs> All right, so let's um, tell her that she can come over. All right, I suppose the Forsaken can wait for now. Sure. Man. Okay, be there in a sec. Crap, this place is a mess. Maybe I should do a quick tidy up before she gets here. Ah, uh, whatever. It's just Candace. I can watch the rest of this later. I should go to, to the toilet before she gets here. Man. Hopefully she doesn't need to use the toilet when she's here. This is, this is really out of character for her. Although, I, if I think about it, there's been something a little off about her the few last few weeks. Not as not as um, annoying as she usually is. Definitely something to do with that that um, douchebag Mike. Wanna be rock star loser? Man, I hate that guy. Anyway. Damn. I probably won't have time to make any music now. Whatever it is, it better be important, Candace. I'm really living the risk living in the risk quarter, aren't I? Oh, whatever. This place suits me just fine. Nobody bars me. 
And I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. It wouldn't be bad having a girlfriend to keep me company here, though. I just wonder what Jess is doing. Damn. I need to stop thinking about her. I definitely should stop thinking about her altogether. If I'm ever going to talk to her again, it has to be from her contacting me. I'm sick of being the one who always messages it first. The only way to do that is to stop thinking about her. Gotta stay strong. Damn. Alright, we're gonna save right quick. Alright, don't check the phone. No. I don't need to worry about her anymore. That girl sucked up enough extra attention from me for a full lifetime's worth. She ain't nothing but a time wasting hoe. Bit harsh, but true. There's Candace. Crap. That's definitely Candace. There she goes. Hey. Hey. Welcome to my wonderful home. Yeah. Thanks for letting me come over. No worries. Is everything okay? Um. Can I sit down? Oh. Sure. Is he okay? Yeah. Anywhere you like. Okay. So, what's going on? Well, I didn't really know who to talk to, but... Uh, what is it? In the demo. Alright, so let's go back to my loads. And let's go right here. Wait, is that the right one? Okay. Yeah, tell her to come over. Alright, check phone. I mean, it has been days since I messaged her. I wonder what she's doing. All right, so it's like this um a repeat of what on, on the other route when you um messaged on her on phone. All right, left phone red. Nice. How much time does she need? It's been over a week. I just want her to know I want to truly be there for her. Not in some romantic crazy way either. In an actual friendly, real love kind of way. But she never let me do that. It's always this kind of bull crap. Man. Look at this pathetic crap. X, 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 X. Why would I put that in there? You loser. All she, all she has to do is throw you a bone when you're cold and he knows you'll get hot again. You ain't played like, like the need loser you are. And now she's making you look like a common stalker. She does this every time. She can tell when you're starting to move on so she gives you a little tappy tap and you're right back to the beginning again. She doesn't love you. She loves to supply your attention gifts her. Cut her off, you retard. And never mess you ever again. Ever. Damn. Alright, Miss Jess. I mean, it doesn't have to be that cutthroat. We have history. We were together for six months. There was a real connection there. And I do think she truly loves me deep down. She just. She's just too broken to accept that someone could love the real her. That's why she pushed me away. That's why she always plays these crazy games. 
I just want to talk to her. There it is. Sent. You idiot. There goes all your mystery, you loser. Your pathetic discarded figurine in a toy box. Waiting for her to pick you up from the pile. How very alpha male of you. Loser. Anyway, that's done. Can't I see now? Crap. That's definitely Candace. Hey. Hey. Welcome to my wonderful home. Yeah. Thanks for letting me come over. No worries. Is everything okay? Um, can I sit down? Oh, sure. Is he okay? Yeah, and what you like? Okay. So, What's going on? Well, I didn't really know who to talk to, but, uh, what is it? In a demo. Whew, all right. So that was my let's play of Big City Dreaming, the demo. It was pretty good for a visual novel, um, visual novel, visual novel horror game. I actually enjoyed it. It was, um, it had kind of a, co a coat um, appeal to it, or a coat um, aesthetic. And it was about um, this guy named Harry, who was basically li living his day-to-day um, -day life, where he basically basically makes music in spare time, and goes like eat chicken sandwiches like every night. <laughs> That's almost my life. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good game. I actually liked the art style. It was very cool, like very, 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 very real realistic. Um, Especially the food. The food it looks amazing. That chicken sandwich. It was, it was making me a little hungry. And the music. The music is very, very good. I actually really like it. I'm not really into that kind of music, but in this game, it kind of works. And then that, that um video, the, um, what was it called? The Forsaken? It was, who oh boy. That video was very, very disturbing. Basically, it started out as um just some kind of like narrator talking about how humans um want power, and then kind of switched, it kind of switched over to a, um a talk show, and then it switched over again to some kind of cult, and the talk show host and the girl that was in the in the, in the, in, the, in, the, in the host um show, like the like um star or whatever, she was in the cult too, and they were basically killing somebody for some kind of lord. It's crazy. But this game is pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. Um, it's still the Kickstarter phase, which I'm definitely going to support this game. I saw a few tiers that I like, and I saw one in particular that I do like that I want to try to take a part in. Hopefully, I can save up enough money to actually get it. But um, yeah, this game is really good. You definitely should um, back this game on Kickstarter. It's a very, very good vision novel, which I only play a lot down on my channel. But this was a really, really good change of pace. So with that said, if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe for more Day Complete content. Stay spoopy. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later, guys.